Hello, my name is Garth Smith. It's a pleasure to be here with you tonight and on the Moroni channel. Um, I'm recording this in, in California, Southern California, and I am a, a LDS musician. I specialize in original arrangements of the hymns on the piano. And it's a pleasure to be here with you tonight and to share some of the music that I hold so dear to my heart. I love the hymns. I love the, the uh, direction that it gives us as it points us to Christ. And uh, I'm hoping that the music will be beneficial to you and uh, inspiring and uplifting. So uh, with that, um, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to basically be, be playing uh, arrangements from my latest album, which is Behold the Great Redeemer, Sacred Hymns, Volume 3, with maybe a couple other songs from other albums. We'll see how, as we go. But um, this first song that I'm going to do is uh, from my second album, which is called um, How Beautiful Thy Temples, Sacred Hymns, Volume 2. And every time I drive by a temple, I'm always amazed at how beautiful they are. And especially when I look at the angel Moroni uh, on the temple, um, it's inspiring to me. And I wrote this arrangement based on a hymn that honors the angel Moroni. Uh, for you, those of you who may not be familiar with the angel Moroni or uh, on the temple or, or drive by the temple and wonder what is that statue of the person blowing the trumpet, well, uh, Moroni, that, that statue represents a person who actually lived, and his life is documented in the Book of Mormon. Moroni was his name, and uh, he was a very righteous man, lived a very Christ-centered life. And to honor him, uh, the church put a represent, representation of him on the temple because he, uh, 1,400 years after his death, he appeared to the boy prophet Joseph Smith as a resurrected being in fulfillment of John's prophecy in the book of Revelation where he said, And I saw another angel flying through the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel. We believe that that angel was the person Moroni. And to honor him, we then put him on the temples, blowing a trumpet, which represents declaration, uh, declaring the gospel to the world. And so uh, this first song, An Angel from on High.
I hope you enjoyed that. For my next song, I'm going to uh, begin with the first song from my latest album. Um, this is a beautiful hymn that has inspired and lifted many because of its message about Christ and the, atoning, the atonement and the idea of forgiveness. Uh, when we make mistakes, we turn to Christ. And this is the hymn, Lead Kindly Light. And um, I hope that you enjoy this and that you think about the beautiful message of the atonement of Christ as I play this. Before I start my next song, I wanted to give a shout out to um, the artist, the great artist, John Zamudio, who painted this painting that you see in the background. Um, it's called Jesus the Christ. And he gave me permission to use this uh, beautiful work of art as my album cover. And the thing that made this, the recording of this album so spiritual to me is that I made the decision right from the very beginning that this album every single arrangement was going to focus completely and totally on the Savior. So every song, every arrangement that you hear um, does exactly that. It focuses on the Savior. And it was a very spiritual experience for me um, in the journey of making this album. And uh, this next song that I want to play for you is uh, a song that is 
uh, reported to have been the favorite song of President Spencer W. Kimball, and that is, I Need Thee Every Hour. absolutely love the songs that are found in the children's songbook. In fact, I've always joked that if I were ever to write a book, I think I would call it um, everything I ever really needed to learn, I learned from the children's songbook because everything is in there that is important, right? And so I've included uh, two songs from the children's songbook. And this first one that I'm going to play for you is, it's always been a favorite of mine ever since I was a young boy singing this and it's called When He Comes Again, speaking about the return of the Savior and looking forward to um, wondering what it will be like when the Savior does come again to the earth.
Some of the most beautiful hymns that we have in our hymn book are the sacrament songs. And I've chosen two sacrament songs that I've included on the album uh, that I'm going to play for you now, anyway. Um, the first is Behold the Great Redeemer Die, from which the title of the album came. And following that, I'm going to play an arrangement of uh, In Humility, Our Savior.
One of my greatest desires and prayers as I present this music and as I, as I record and uh, make it available for other people is that the music will be an inspiration and a source of peace for people. And uh, this next arrangement that I'm going to do, um, it's a beautiful hymn. The words are gorgeous and it has helped so many people. And we all have difficulties in life. There's all, tri all of us have trials that we have to overcome. And it can be so difficult sometimes and we look for a, a source of peace in our trials. And this song, this hymn, Where Can I Turn for Peace, talks about the greatest source of peace that we can all turn to, and of course, that is Jesus Christ. So, uh, where can I turn for peace?
one of the beautiful things about making this album for me was just the fact that I felt so much love um, from the Savior and especially as I did these arrangements that talked about exactly that, love of the Savior. And this beautiful hymn that I'm going to present next, Our Savior's Love, just demonstrates that beautiful concept that no matter where we are in life, no matter uh, what our circumstances are or the trials that we face, the one constant, the one thing that is always there is our Savior's love. This next arrangement that I will present is another from the children's songbook, and it's one of my favorite. Um, it has to do with feeling our Savior's love, just like the last song that I played. But uh, the message is so beautiful, and that is, I feel my Savior's love. And the message of this song is so inspiring uh, because we can, it's possible for us, no matter what circumstance that we are in, to be able to feel our Savior's love. And we see it in the creations around it, around us, in the beauty of the earth and um, the relationships that we have, the, the love that we feel from other people. It, it's, we feel the Savior's love everywhere. 
And so that's the beauty of this song. And, and uh, I just hope that as I play this for you tonight, that you will feel our Savior's love. My final arrangement tonight is a Christmas song that is on, uh, actually included as a bonus track on my album. It's the arrangement of O Holy Night. I've had several people say, why is this song not sung all year round? It's such a beautiful message, and I totally agree with that. I feel that this song, the words of this song about the birth of our Savior uh, is so uh, important and should be sung all year long. And so. Uh, one of the reasons that I did include it on the album. Um, I will be recording this song as a video uh, with the LDS artist Callie Reed later this year, and uh, we will be releasing it during the Christmas time, Christmas season, as a video. And so look forward to that. But uh, with that, thank you for uh, watching this, and I hope it's been uplifting and inspirational for you. We'll close with O Holy Night.
All right. That's it. Thank you so much for being here and watching and listening to the music. I really appreciate it, and I'm so grateful for this opportunity. For those of you who would like to purchase an album, uh, you can go to my website, www.garthsmithmusic.com. I do international shipping, and I also provide a way for you to send the CDs as gifts to missionaries or family or friends. And um, for you living internationally, also you can download this, as well as those living in the United States, you can download this album, um, Behold the Great Re Redeemer, Sacred Hymns, Volume 3, on iTunes. And um, my prayer, as always, is that the music will bring you closer to the Savior and that uh, it may be bring a spirit of peace and uh, serenity into your home. Thank you again, and until next time. <laughs>